right, Monday morning, start of week two for our at-home workouts. All right, so we have a different one today, so it's not an interval. What we're gonna do is something called an AMRAP. It's gonna be as many rounds as possible. We're gonna go a 23 minute in honor of uh, Michael Jordan's last dance last night. So 23 minute AMRAP. So all that is is we'll set the clock for 23 minutes. We're gonna get as many rounds as possible of these exercises, going as hard as we can, as fast as we can, put in as much work as we can. 23 minutes hits, we're done, okay? If you are in very good shape, you can push that pace for 23 minutes. If you're just getting back into things, you can take your time, just try to work through that whole 23 minutes. All right, we'll go through all these exercises so you have an idea of what you're doing and you're all set to go. Okay, so my first exercise, we're gonna do a push-up. We have 10 push-ups. So again, if I want, I can go on the ground. All right, I can knock out my 10 push-ups right here, knocking them out. I can go on my knees so as I go on my knees, all I want to do is just make sure that my hips are in. So my butt doesn't want to be back going push-ups like that. Just make sure hips are in and going all the way down, okay? On one of the exercises last week, we showed our push-ups on the stairs. So if we incline, go on an incline with our body, we can make it easier that way as well. So maybe put your hands on the counter or the edge of your couch and do your push-ups that way. You have 10 push-ups. As soon as I'm done with my 10 push-ups, I'm gonna go 10 squat jumps. So chest stays up, I'm gonna sit my butt back, go down on my squat, and I'm gonna get a little bit of a jump. 10 of them. If knees are a little cranky, you can just go your normal squat as well. So in that situation, I may spread my feet out a little bit. I'm gonna move my hips back. I'm gonna sit down and back. Getting 10 of them. All right, so after my squat jumps, I'm gonna need a box. Um, so I can use an ottoman here, I can use a chair. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna set up in a push-up position with my feet on the box or ottoman or chair, whatever you have. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, put my feet on here, set up good push-up position, making sure I have a nice flat back. I'm gonna bring my foot off, I'll touch my toe to the ground, and back up. Touch, back up, touch, back up, okay? I have anywhere between five and 10 touches per side. So again, depending on your level, you can either go five and five for a total of 10, or 10 and 10 for a total of 20, okay? As soon as I am done with my touchdowns, I can set up two little marks so I can use a pair of shoes or whatever I have, okay? I'm gonna go shuffle. So, the further I go, again, the more challenging it's gonna be. I at least wanna go a couple shuffles. So I'll go across, back, across, back, okay? I'm gonna go down and back five times. So again, if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, spread those out. So if you can do this outside, spread those out, make it a little bit more challenging, make that distance a little longer. That will help it, okay? My last exercise, I'm gonna go a straight leg sit up. Right, so I'm gonna go here, I wanna keep my heels in the ground, arms coming up, and then sitting all the way up. I'll lay all the way back down, sitting all the way up. All right, I have 10 straight leg sit ups. After my 10 straight leg sit ups, so that's the end of it, I'm gonna go right back up to my push-ups. I'm gonna start over again. Again, if you are in pretty good shape, you should be pushing the pace as hard as you possibly can in the 23 minutes, getting as many rounds as you can, okay? After you're done, we have a little finisher today. So what we are gonna use is anything we have around the house. We have to complete 50 bicep curls. So if you have something that you can use both hands on, you'll total 50. You don't have to do 50 right in a row, but maybe you do 15, Rest, do another set of 15. Rest, do another set of 15 or 20. Okay, a total 50. I have a bucket here, so what I'll do is I will do 25 curls on my right, 25 curls on my left. So I wanna stand up nice and tall, and I'm gonna curl that bucket up as high as I possibly can. Okay, again, using whatever you have in the house. Okay, so if you have a broomstick, you can have your broomstick, maybe drape a backpack on it, and then curl in that way. So again, our goal here, use whatever you have in the house to get effective workouts. Have a great workout, enjoy your Monday.